Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's the judge again here with a building block set build. I'm not going to say Lego because this particular brand here is not Lego, although it's a Lego clone company. But what we have here is I went ahead and got the, the larger kit tumbler uh, from the one that I did the last time. That was a smaller kit. 347 pieces was the last one so that little one uh, this one is a little is a lot more you have about a 1860 some odd pieces or so so nearly 2,000 piece kit for this one so this would be the Batman tumbler and this is the one that that was featured in the three films that Christian Bale was in so during that time or during his tenure in the Batman films, this is the vehicle that was actually his Batmobile. And I think it was probably the coolest to me. It, it probably looks it, it looks like a heap of junk or whatever on wheels or a tank type vehicle. But uh it's actually a real cool vehicle though. I mean it also morphs into his bat cycle. The two front wheels here in the front, as you can see. This would actually when the tumbler got severely damaged. Uh, in one of the movies, uh, it morphed into or it ejected into the bat cycle, which would be the two front wheels here. And it was configured, so I guess they hit a switch and it assembled into that. And then he took off with that. And then the vehicle self-destructed so that nobody could get the tech, I guess. Um, I took the liberty of taking off the roof tiles. So there's the panels for the roof and then you can see the shape. So you can kind of see right into it right right in there so you can see the cockpit you got the two uh the, the reclining seats and you got the levers and the panels all that uh, readout or that monitors in there with the with showing statuses and all that a pretty cool kit though this is actually one of the most intricate kits i got i mean at least since the millennium falcon um this would be i considered i guess this would be like more of a medium piece or sized uh, building block set you know, compared to like again I gotta compare it to like the ultimate Millennium Falcon like 7500 piece and there's also the Star Destroyer which I believe might be a lot more uh, that's a really big kit I seen one at the Alamoana Lego store and that thing is huge so you need a lot of space if you're gonna build something like that or even even this you gotta have a lot of room and it's best to actually have a surface like a table when you build the, when you do build these things because yeah you're gonna need the space a uh, little bit on the company that made it this one is a lepin brand l-e-p-i-n and they're based out of a uh, china a chinese company that actually made that brand some kind of toy company and they're basically a lego clone company and there has been quite a few of them out there over the years uh, they also there is also a lot of building block companies out there. I'd say about 16 or 17 out there that are functioning That build their own original sets um, This company Lepin actually cloned a lot of Lego kits in the recent years uh, the, the Star Wars series and the uh, Batman Harry Potter even copied a Volkswagen van uh, the 67 Volkswagen van that lego exclusively did and uh exit to its exactness just like this kit it's to it everything is to the exact scale and and design that lego did which is why they uh lego did a civil action against lepin and won they won uh monetary settlement and other infringement uh, sanctions against the company from you know doing anything further copying lego so you can't use the lego name or build the kits exactly the way they had or the ones that they had out so they want that the only downside to that is that lego lost revenue probably or, or at least it stalled their profit margins because this company was making like for this particular um kit uh they were selling them for less so they would have more business is i guess the way it went so lego uh they discontinued the item because I guess they weren't making a lot. But it's a really sturdy, very nice uh, looking kit for this model or for this vehicle. I mean, look at all the paneling and the detail on this thing. I mean, right down to the, you know, you have like the disc brakes. You can kind of see it. 
the axle portion, uh, the side arms there you see, it has that kind of like a, like a bat feature or whatnot on it, some kind of a, like a cool uh, uh, sturdy design on it. You got the windshield, these are like separate windshields, so everything you see here is actually individually built before you put it together. For those of you who aren't familiar with Lego or building block stuff, you have to build every piece, you know, with all the parts that's there. Assemble it to give you this panel and that panel and then then you're gonna go ahead and put it on So like this is the roof you're gonna it'll just slip in like a puzzle But I'll leave it off for now so that we can continue to look at the interior and what while we're going around you Got the struts Side arm the windshield has a wipers believe it or not for that. I guess you need that still uh, And this is the interior it looks very more futuristic pretty close to what I wanted in the last kit I did that that's more probably what it would look like although i don't think it's accurate to the movie one because he had some control features in there that allowed him to slip into the center you know in the middle part and then he would you know go ahead and activate the uh the missiles and, and torpedoes or whatever he had when he had to clear out uh, the road ahead or something and batman had to use that uh, but look at all the detail on this thing i mean it was actually very well made, you know, very, very well designed. Although it's, this is a Lego, still a Lego kit because it was cloned to, to Lego. So this is not Lepin's brand. This is not their original brand. They didn't design it. They just copied it. So, but it's exactly to the way Lego had theirs. Um, and speaking of the price, as we go around the vehicle, I was going to do a 360. Yeah, so look at all the fins you got. A lot of fins. See, you got the you got the jet turbo, you got the dually tires, but this kit will run. Uh, you can find it on eBay. It's actually discontinued, so if you can you want to go on eBay, you can find it or on Google. You can go anywhere from sixty five up to one thirty for a kit like this, which is actually not bad. You got the dually. Look at the the wheels on them. The rims. So got down to the little details of antennas and you know uh, struts. So you got these flaps here. The vehicle is really sturdy. I mean, it's really sturdy with the exception of the flaps, which is just connected by these little connector pieces. That's all that's holding this whole fin. So if you keep messing, if you mess with them too much, you could probably damage it. Or you know, it's really you know that that part is not as durable or flimsy. So you might not want to mess with it a whole lot, but you also got down to the the exhaust ports up here. I believe that's what they are. Um, you got the gauges. There's some gauges right there. There you go. Okay, you got the, the shock absorber, the suspension, and of course the exhaust port for the jet engine. This thing is actually supposed to have a jet engine on it. Okay, dually as you go around. Here's the radiators. It's dual radiators, so there's one on the other side as well. It's a very nicely built asymmetrical vehicle. So whatever is on this side is exactly on the other side. So you get the main frame, the, the center frame beam. Okay, this one usually, in the, I believe, the well, the Batman in the movie, the, the top or the roof kind of folds up or rolls up somehow. This one, you just got to kind of, it's like a puzzle piece for the, you know, as far as the kit's concerned or the model. Um... But every little detail, you got paneling and fl uh, fins and flaps and wings and whatnot on this thing. So there's a, like a lot of different, I mean, you have to actually build it from the ground up in layers. So a layer at a time. And if you miss something, which you will do, if you're rushing through it, you got to really take your time when you do build something like this. And have a lot of patience. Because if you're not a patient person, then I would not attempt something like this. This would probably drive you crazy. And for me, personally, I actually had some one of the drawbacks in dealing with some companies, but especially if they're overseas, um, I had some missing parts, especially in the early going, uh, you know, with uh, one of the bags. Uh, again, they, they clone what Lego, how they manufacture it. So it's when you open the, it came in a box. So it wasn't the actual packaging that had the, pictures and all that of this vehicle it was just a box a plain box that was stuffed with bags that are numbered so uh they number the bags like lego like nowadays they they number it from anywhere from one to either seven through ten or so 
And in my case, it was 1 to 11. So the number two bag, which had all the parts, um, was missing a lot of foundational pieces that I, you know, that was down in the foundation. So it actually stopped. I had to stop building it. You know, it caused for me to have to wait and order replacement parts. So there's quite a few in the number two bags. But once I got them in and everything started to, to go smoothly, then I, I built, I was able to get much further along. Until yesterday, I only was missing maybe four tile pieces, which would be these here. I was missing these roof tiles. So two here, there's one up there and one on the other side right there on the top. So those were the only two. And then my daughter, one of my daughters actually helped me. They they actually gave me tile pieces from their Lego kit. They were, they were uh, able to find the black color and I was I could use them. So I was able to finish this yesterday. So that's what was awesome. Um, they number their bags just like Lego. So if, if it's number one, like when you open a kit, for those of you who don't know, um, when you open a Lego set or any, any type of building blocks, they number the bags at least nowadays they do for majority of them and you can assemble all the little pieces and the lego parts uh from the numbered bag as you go along you know building from the instruction manual so it, it goes like it's like a chapter so chapter one would be bag one and so on so it's really it's, it's really organized now rather than back in the day you just had a box full with a clump of legos and you gotta find everything so uh, this one, it allows you to organize yourself. So, yeah, you would need a very, you know, a lot of space. You can get bowls and stuff and plates or, or, or containers and put your pieces in them so that you can find them as you're building it. Because, you know, you really don't want to dig through stuff, especially once the model starts taking shape. So, but anyway, uh, this is the result. So, I really, um, this one is actually really nice. Uh, really nice model. I mean, I, I know once everything was started to take shape and go and go further ahead, um, um, I was, uh, you know, I had a feeling of accomplishment. So it was a moment of pure enjoyment, if you like this sort of thing, okay? Aside from my, you know, of course, my, my music and all the other stuff I love. But this is the other thing you can kind of escape from reality. Also came with this little nameplate or, this, you know, like a, a, a information fact sheet from the, what it is, what it does, the speed, the weights. Uh, it says the height of this actual, in, in, if it was a, a real vehicle, would be 5 feet 2. So it's not a very t uh, high vehicle. It's lower to the ground. Um, but it's like 15 feet long and 9 feet wide. So, And it supposedly can go, it has 1,500 horsepower. It's a jet turbine. So that's pretty fast if it gets out into the open ground or road. And you got little Batman and all that. They're not really proportion to the model itself it would be a little bit larger than that than these guys but i think this is more for the the display stand uh but a real awesome kit i mean 1800 pieces so you know compared to my last one if you look at the i'm just gonna go and bust it out real quick so here's the last one i did so this is like a 347 piece one which is also awesome look at look at the size comparison so yeah, the, the bigger one is about double its size, if not three three times its size. Yeah, so really, really huge. But look at all the tiles and detail and paneling, though. So every part of the way, you got a little panel. You got to actually build it. And then, then you assemble it once you put that little piece together. Like this one was a little, you build that and then you attach it. So, But the foundation had to be all set in place for these things to work later in the kit. So... Um, so if you really like doing this type of thing, then yeah, I would recommend getting this. It'll take some of your day or when you have free time. I had to kind of work this in between family life and all that work when I, you know, as I got home and late at night when the kids kind of wind down. So yeah, you know, but if you have a lot of time on your hands, then yeah, if you're not playing video games, I know a lot of the Fortnite and all that stuff, that'll take a lot of your time like quick. So I, I personally just like to build things and. You know, especially when it comes to my favorite vehicles. Um, again, I wasn't much of a Batman fan. I mean, you know, but I did grow up with him and or on or, or watching him and reading his comics. And you know, uh, when this vehicle, when I saw this, I mean, for some reason, I just got attached to this vehicle because it's really awesome to me. You know, it's designed to. I guess in the movie, it was supposedly designed to uh, build bridges for the military. 
and they would launch over across a canyon and with cable and lay, lay out a bridge. You would have two of these things and the idea they, they would propel across a canyon and lay the cable. And then from there you can build your bridge. So uh, I don't know why it was called a tumbler, but you know, that's, that's just a cool name maybe. Maybe it, that's what it does, it tumbles, I don't know. But it's like, again, it's like a cross between a, a, a Humvee and a tank uh, and a SUV and whatnot. So uh, really cool. So we'll do one last go around. Here's a little one, little tumbler. Tumbler Junior or Mini Tumbler. Yeah, and you get the wings, flaps. Anyway, uh, I know I'm ranting on, so I'm, uh, thanks for watching. Check you out later. Shaka. See ya.